I've now survived over 5,000 days in this hardcore Minecraft world and nearly two years IRL. With that, I thought it would be the perfect time to finish off one of my largest projects. This world tree that was built in May of 2022. But let's be honest, the top of the tree could use some love. Today, we're transforming the entire canopy of the world tree. Taking it back to a little over a year ago for a quick recap on how we got here, where I first created an outline of the tree trunk using mostly acacia wood for the tree itself, then connecting that all the way down to the ground with some larger roots, I filled in all of the space in between the lines and textured it all up so we now have a stump leading to the top half of the tree where I started to fill in the trunk of the tree itself again, and then defining how some of the first attempts at branches will look far above the clouds. After about 20 hours of leaf placing, I covered the first branches at the top of the tree with over 20,000 azalea leaves. Then jumping forward another 20 or so hours, I filled in the middle of the tree with glass. I love the shattered look for the tree as if it's being held together by magic. But fast forward a few thousand days and a city build around the tree later, and we are here just like that. And this video has taken well over 160 days in game and more than 80 hours of work. So please leave a like to support my channel and please subscribe if you're new. You may remember after we built the big old wall tree, it looked a little like this, completely covered with snow layers. Thankfully, a while back, I took on the project of updating my spider farm, which has allowed me to stock up on a ton of string. Just about two shulker boxes full of string ready to go to put on top of the tree. I started the incredibly fun, yeah, 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 fun task of running around the massive world tree to place a piece of string on top of every single block to prevent future snow layers from spawning in. Over four hours went by with more than three shulker boxes of string being placed down. Which leads us to here, and no more snow exists on top of the world tree. First step before we do anything else to the tree, it's finally time to rescue the Star Trader librarian all the way up here. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Well, kind of rescue him. I want to build him an airship floating out here over the mountain with a little bit more space than he currently has. Yeah, I'm sorry. Step one, I need your help with name ideas for our librarian star trader, so leave them down in the comments. Step two, I need materials. I want the star trader to be seen as a world explorer, so we're going a little fantasy steampunky with this build and trying to theme it all after the night sky for a bunch of different colored blocks that I want to throw in, meaning I'm gathering a lot of things that I don't usually use to build with. These two shulker boxes here have everything I'm gonna need for the airship, but I'm back over at World Spawn here to grab a few stacks of moss blocks as, well, I wanna build it all the way up there. I don't want it to get in the way of the branches we're gonna expand on the world tree, so maybe somewhere right over here over the mountain can be good. I know I have my elytra on, but man, that is a long way down. I can see my house from here. To get started, let's build a big old platform out here out of moss. That should be big enough. Now from here, we just need to build out the whole shape for the airship to make sure it's something that is safe for the villager that they can't escape from as they, we don't want them falling to their death. We've got some little fantasy engines back here with a teeny tiny slipstream using the end rods, but we can go one step further with some exhaust pipes. Now we're getting a little bit more of a steampunky fantasy vibe. Add in a little bit more detail, I thought on this side we could include some of these hanging signs, and I did put moss below here. Ooh. Almost like this is a ladder hanging off the edge. Eh, hopefully our villager doesn't try and use it. Now over on this side, I had an idea for something I think will turn out pretty cool. It's just a bit of a pain to set up here as we need to tear out a little bit of what I've already built. To add in some rails that are gonna stretch all the way down here, removing everything except these two, as long as I don't touch the barrels, they should stay in position like they're holding some cargo. Moving on to finishing out the rest of the airship with their pink cabin and an amethyst balloon above to signify stars in the night. Now we can remove all of the moss I built out here for the platform. There we go, much better. Oh, that's looking pretty good. We can just borrow the bed. Next, I need to move the villager in, which means making a rail line from where he stood. Don't jump, don't jump, don't do it. I, I got a new airship for you. But we need a rail line from the ship to the villager. Okay, buddy, please don't jump until I tell you, all right? Can you just like stand in the middle and not move until I come get you? 
<laughs> Maybe I can just get him to walk. Villagers are smart, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, I don't see this going poorly at all. No, no, I'm getting rid of that block. He is. Yep, he, we need a full on guardrails in here. You want to elect in, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay right in the middle of the pathway. Okay, slow, slow, slow. Okay, progress. Progress, we're getting progress. Come on, Mr. Star Trader. Oh yeah. You're almost halfway there. Come on, come on. I've never been so worried moving a villager in my entire life. Okay, last stretch, buddy. Right into your house. Yes, no, no jumping. Jumping is banned. No, no, jumping's banned. Right, I need to know. Are you gonna be a flight risk? Oh, okay, I didn't think you could jump on top of that. Back down, please. Just gonna add those right here. So you can't go anywhere. Okay, I need slabs. You know what? He can't get out here. So what if we just instead, so that we can keep the design, add a trap door there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I don't think he can get out anywhere now. And just, you know, for safety purposes, no, we're never gonna be up here to see that. Welcome to your new home, buddy. Look how much more space you have. Yeah, you went from like four or five blocks to walk around on to like 15. And now a few thousand days later, we can finally get rid of this little bit of dirt up here that was holding him safe. Oh, okay, yep, that's the loss of the moss. Now I know these five blocks of dirt are extremely precious to our wandering trader. So inside of here, we've got a barrel and we can just make it look like he still has them with him. Yeah. You're welcome. There we have it, a new home for our star trader. Ooh, that looks so good from down here. Right, time to refocus on the tree. I don't hate the tree as it currently stands, but the proportions are a little off. Where currently the tree canopy is pretty small and it should probably be something more like this. The first rendition took over 20,000 azalea leaves to build. So to double the size, I need another 20,000 leaves. Realistically, I probably need more, but we're gonna start there, okay? Let's make ourselves a ton of chests, craft down a ton of shulker boxes, and that's too many. I'm gonna go ahead and make 12 lime shulker boxes to fill with azalea leaves, and six of them are gonna be purple for the flowering azalea leaves. This box should be able to get us started on growing a bunch of azalea azalea trees and the plains biome over here should have enough space for us just need to clear out a little bit of grass now there's two more things i need to do before we start growing trees one repair the hoe two requires us going down into the nether well i guess both of them can happen down here as i need all of these bones to make bone blocks well bone meal no no my bones and i can repair the hoe at the same time hoe is all repaired up and the shulker should do <laughs> oh, saved it. I started placing down the materials I gathered to start gathering more materials. Grabbing another material here. With our bone meal, we can grow every fourth bush here as that should be able to optimize the leaf growth fairly well. There we go. Now, before we get gathering, I need a better way to catch the materials as I keep falling off. With some more moss, we can expand out with additional rows in here as I'm definitely gonna be needing them later. So we can slowly turn it all into our rooted dirt and catch all the leaves at the same time. With the platform built out and some extra azalea bushes placed down as a way to more easily get into the trees, it's time to start gathering the nearly 20,000 leaves I'm gonna need to start expanding the canopy. The first round took about 30 minutes, so I've got a big grind ahead of me, but I'm making Making sure I'm doing it right this time. The first round of the tree took over 200 days in game to build, so only redoing the top half can't be that bad, right? Right? Well, at least I don't have to stare at green things for a little bit as I need to repair my hoe before it breaks. I also do have this backup one that I just need to put efficiency and mending on. There's mending and efficiency five. There goes the new one. And this will fix up the original. Right back into farming even more azalea leaves. I kept bone mealing up the new trees and then using the silk touch hoe to gather up all of the leaves. At this point, all I can say is I'm happy we don't have to do this with shears anymore as that'd be completely awful. So it's at least nice to have a 2000 durability netherite hoe as it helps a lot. Which led to another hour and a half of gathering leaves cycling through these trees another three times to gather up all the leaves. Where now both of my hoes are nearly broken, but I am happy 
happy to say we have 10 full shulker boxes of azalea leaves here and a little bit into the 11th along with an entire shulker box and a little bit more of oak logs as kind of a fun side effect i guess and three shulker boxes of flowering azaleas in here this has been an absolute grind let's drop all of our oak logs back off inside of the lumber mill and another trip to the experience farm just under two shulker boxes to go before we can finally get started on expanding the tree which i am extremely happy about as i've now spent an entire day irl gathering azalea leaves just chop the last tree down and i'm two almost three stacks shy everything else is full i guess i gotta grow up you more trees and then we can be done with leaves her now hopefully never to have to come back to this place again and there we go we got a few extras too which can go over here with that done azalea leaves are now the seventh most mine block in this hardcore minecraft world packing up base camp for now we can bring all of the azalea leaves with us and i'll leave the flowering ones over here as uh i really don't need those at all right now i have no idea what to do with them i just i just now have almost five shulker boxes of them so we're gonna leave them there and forget about them hopefully sometimes i do wish there was a way to just get an azalea tree full of regular leaves a little nuts carrying around 12 shulker boxes full of azalea leaves though so i'm gonna drop them all off here right underneath the world tree moving on to the branches which are gonna need a lot of materials i used acacia wood tough block and mossy cobblestone for the original branches with tons of glow lichen smacked on top now those are not the easiest items to get so instead to start out this time i want to frame everything out with dirt i almost got one box of dirt i do have so many grass blocks though that i never really use and they're basically the same thing right the distance from the base of the trunk to the top is about 128 blocks and from what i've researched on this type of tree i'm trying to make the canopy should be just about as wide so let's start with a 100 block diameter from the center of the trunk all of those lines are now in place and uh that lands us exactly where we started okay we need to do a lot more i think i'm gonna have to do another 40 blocks going out either side so the canopy is gonna actually be a lot bigger then the tree is tall that will look really cool with it out over the city here right all those extra extensions are now in place and flying back super far over here that looks a lot more like what i'm trying for which is already a lot of stacks of blocks of grass oh no so I'm thinking the best way to do this is to start incorporating new branches off of the tree a little bit lower down. And then with all of the grass blocks, we're just gonna kind of start filling in and it's okay that some of these aren't really gonna be showing anymore. I think in the essence of trying to save a lot of time here, I'm just gonna cover up everything that's on the tree already instead of trying to like save it and reuse the materials. We're just gonna consider that a loss or it's uh, you know, the inside of the tree. This looks like a pretty good line for one of our lower branches coming out and uh, it'd be really bad if this fell down on the wall this should be about the distance i want it coming up off the tree and i thought we're pretty close out to the edge here of where i want to take it so maybe we bring it down a few blocks just for a few blocks to change it up and then we start going back up and out and then from here we can start splintering off into all little tiny branches uh creepers sorry there's a no mob zone allowed on the top of the tree thank you right with that first base of the branch in place how oh, that's big that's very big. This is a lot to commit to, which is why we're doing it in dirt first. And from down here, that looks really, really good. We'll build up on top of it and make it a lot thicker, but I think that's a pretty good start. And I think that might be the best way to do it of get a few baselines in for maybe four or five large branches, and then we'll start thickening them up. These are turning out to be massive branches, but this should look a lot better. And yep, from down here, that's a lot more substantial. This is all if I can manage to finish off this project because I've already spent over an entire shulker box of grass blocks just getting this base frame out. And then I got to come back in and remove all of these to, you know, build the actual branches. Because we can't just leave them out of dirt and grass. Here goes take one on thickening up a branch. And i think that should do a lot of this is going to be hidden by the leaves unless we're from down below here so the only angle i really care about the branches from is something around here and i think that'll work out that's just another eight stacks of 
grass blocks back again and completely out of grass blocks now and i like this once we start texturing i'll also add in a lot of the mossy cobblestone walls to act as the tiny branches connecting into the leaves i filled in a lot of the center spaces but still even with that this was uh a shulker and a half of grass blocks to do the front branches how much acacia wood oh we got a decent amount and we can definitely craft a lot more in here the other main material i need for the branches here is tough block and yeah we have a chest with those put together i'm gonna take a break from shaping the branches and start texturing the first branch this is looking pretty good up here and before i get to the others mobs are spawning on top like crazy so i need to fix that jumping inside the giga tree we have the old glow looking farm right over here and i can just get a ton of it real quick that should be enough glow lichen for now now back on top of the tree i pretty much just spam this all over the place and make sure it's uh mob proof there we go this branch should now be pretty much safe i hope with that done i moved on to texturing the second branch i shaped out to keep moving forward on this as i was able to collect a lot of the dirt back which means we can reuse that again to shape out the next branches further down our second branch is now lit as well and apparently i skipped this one without even realizing it so this guy will be next no zombies in the tree i don't i don't want to talk i actually don't want to talk at all no 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 talking at the base of the branch here connecting back into the tree i've kind of just been surrounding the dirt to make it a little bit extra thick down here i think it was fine but i also don't think this is a bad thing as one of the things i hated the most about the original tree was that the branches are kind of thick like there and then they just go super skinny whereas that thickness now is pretty much as what we have all the way out there and i'm not caring at all about the directions of the logs because we're going to be seeing it from all the way down there there's no way you'll be able to tell and probably about here we can transition from that to now replacing the dirt now i've just got to continue this all the way down for the third time three time 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 on the tree and there we go the first three branches are textured i can already tell this is gonna be a lot better once we put all of the leaves on the only problem is i am starting to run a little low on materials i do have plenty of dirt again though well grass blocks in this case so we can start thickening up these back remaining branches and work our way around building out the branches with all the remaining grass blocks i recollected while texturing the first three branches turned out to be enough with dipping into my dirt reserves a little bit more to finish off the three remaining large branches at the base of the canopy working a little late into the night irl to finish up this task as i really want to be able to start fresh in the morning on to the next step where i need three more shulker boxes with a quick stop in the nether to repair my shovel as changing out the branches nearly broke it then i made it out to a remote savannah island off the coast of the desert as i started to chop down all of the trees and replant every single sapling i could to grow even more trees to chop down this went on until i filled up an entire shulker box of acacia logs nearly an hour later we're back at the base with another shulker box filled with cobblestone from the quarry storage room that i'm using to craft it all down into mossy cobblestone Stone with the new moss farm which i want to turn most of this into mossy cobblestone walls to use for smaller branches on the tree as the tree already looks really good proportionally but i want to extend this out even further with a few blocks off in each direction using the main branches that we already did and then we can add on these new walls to extend the canopy even further out which of course needs to happen on every branch i built out to keep the tree balanced completely for reference this video has already taken four days irl to get this far so a quick break from the tree as it's time to plant a field working on the tree in the old world means it's time to add in a new field here as well just like it's time for you to subscribe to my channel i mean i've survived 5,000 days in this world at this point and if you've been watching for this long well it's probably time but also a quick reminder that over on quip 2 i am now posting a behind the scenes video answering your comments and questions with each main channel video so leave a comment down below and i'll pick two or three of them for the next episode on top of the field i also added in this small road over here to link down up to our new beetroot field and i definitely want to add in a farmhouse or something down here soon but back to the tree for now well a creative copy of the tree as my least favorite part of the original tree were the leaves so to get a better result i'm gonna be using world edit on this copy of the tree to add in the leaves using a sphere brush with 75 percent air and 25 percent azalea leaves masking over air blocks 
Now, if you don't understand World Edit Talk, basically what that means is I'm able to quickly add in all of these leaves without replacing any of the tree branches I've built so far. Now, from here, I can copy all of this using Lightmatica before jumping back into the actual hardcore world where you can see the blueprint of the leaves in the tree. Picking up all the azalea leaves we currently have, I need 25,855 and I have 20,700. I'm three sugar boxes shy for that. The outside of the lower, lower branches. Yeah. I know it's not the most legit thing to be doing. However, I'm not doing anything game breaking. And for the sake of making a better video and to save all this time, to me, it's going to be worth it. Well, I guess before I go gather even more leaves, I can use what I already have. I'm going to be leveraging Lightmatica's placement feature to help speed things up. I could do this manually. However, using easy place will probably save me three to four hours for this round of leaf placing alone, which means you might see this video before I announce my retirement from old age. Nearly three hours later eight of the shulker boxes full of azalea leaves have been emptied and added into the canopy of the tree i still have four full boxes left to go but my wings are very very nice so before they become out before they become not so nice let's go fix them up with a quick trip into the nether to the wither skeleton farm much much better let's get back to it we're back again in the canopy it's time to work on the back half of the tree where i've realized as i was working on the schematic i made the front half much much thicker on the leaf count so as we go up the tree i might try to thin things out just a little bit as i don't think i can really tell from far away so i'm okay with skipping a few placements here and there instead of perfectly copying in all of the leaves And there goes the last stack of azalea leaves, meaning we have another four shulker boxes completely emptied. And we're on day 5094, meaning I've spent 94 days expanding the tree. Oh gosh. I may have made a little bit of a mob spawner down below the tree, but we'll fix that later. Yeah, definitely. As next up, we'll continue to talk about leaves as I really just love azalea leaves. And well, my shulker boxes are all empty at this point, so I need to restock those too. The flowering leaf boxes are full, so I want to bring those back home. Crafting up a few more chests, we can jump into the city where I want to eventually transform this market into a foliage storage area so I can just put all the leaves down here. Back at the azalea tree farm, I placed down a ton more bushes to keep me one block higher off the ground to more easily reach the upper leaves. With that done, I can start the process of growing up all of the trees yet again. For another hoedown, breaking all of the leaves with silk touch to collect them, as each clear is yielding about two shulker boxes full of azalea leaves, and a lot of logs which quickly filled up another shulker box. So we can drop all those off back here at the lumber mill, and jump into the end dimension as I have two nearly broken netherite hoes to mend up. Back in the overworld, I started to grow even more trees, then jumping underneath the platform to deal with a few mobs that were spawning. They just blew up all the root of dirt. Moving on from that, as I spent nearly three hours farming azalea leaves, clearing out the space even more times than I can count. Where we now have 12 shulker boxes full of azalea leaves yet again. And some pretty broken tools on top of that. And I have now mined 69,000 azalea leaves. Another stat for you, we're currently on day 5,111, meaning I've spent over 100 days already on this episode and nearly 450 days on this tree in total but time to plop the shulker boxes back down at the base of the tree and get back into finishing off the base canopy of the tree There we go. The lower canopy is now finished up and it's looking really good. Looking at the schematic here, I started skipping leaf placements to go a little bit quicker and well, I saved over 1,800 leaves in the process or an entire shulker box of azalea leaves, meaning we still have nearly 10 full boxes ready to put on the tree again. Yeah, it's a lot of leaves. The tree is really starting to come together now, but it's time to branch out from placing leaves and work on the middle canopy with more branches. Starting off with picking up a load of grass blocks. These branches will all be slightly smaller than the lower canopy as I start to round off the top of the tree. However, I wanna make sure we're coming close enough to that lower canopy that it doesn't leave a weird gap between all of the leaves. 
the first few grass block lines are in along the front here and they're definitely getting hidden within the canopy itself but i think that's pretty good and we'll add in our little branches with our mossy cobblestone walls going off of them and definitely gonna thicken these up my thought is i'm trying to basically fill in every open gap i have like these between the larger branches from below it's definitely a little tricky trying to find places to add these branches off of so sometimes i'm just bringing in new ones off of the lower canopy branch following the same formula i started to thicken up the new branches to give them a presence inside of the tree i love that from the ground i can't really even tell what i just spent the last hour building oh oh no there's a branch but it does make a pretty big difference from up here on extending out the canopy in all the different directions except there's kind of an open space back here i just didn't know how to fill it with the big branch up there so we're just gonna ignore that for now down below i do have a bunch of materials here still left over from the last building time we definitely need a lot of these to turn into a lot of these put those back in there grab a lot of these grab a lot of those break a lot of these placing a lot of those and then then we just make tree yeah we just just make the tree from here it's easy first new branch is now finished up i just need to remove this little bit of scaffolding i had to create underneath and it's looking pretty good i did forget a very important part though glow lichen otherwise this tree turns into a very very scary place at night unfortunately these branches are even more time consuming even though they're smaller because i have to weave in between all of the leaves that i've already placed for the original tree branches and they're a little small so i really gotta work through all of them thankfully though with these branches themselves being smaller the material count is much less well, there we go. Second one's now done. Nope, glow lichen again. Glow lichen again. Sun's going down. Glow lichen needs to be here. Well, I've got like eight more branches to do, so let's get to work. Okay, there we go. The last branch on the second layer is now in place with a little bit more glow lichen on top to stop the mobs from spawning. And I ran down a glow lichen. Okay, get some more. I'm totally out of glow lichen. Okay, back into the tree we go. Yes. With that done, time for some mossy cobblestone walls. For our first step, I need a lot more cobblestone with moss for viney cobblestone to craft more mossy cobblestone walls. Now, what's the chance I just give up on this video halfway through and uh, rethink all of my life decisions to move out into the wilderness and become a farmer? Uh, I don't know, definitely, definitely not zero at this point. Another hour later and a few more stacks of mossy cobblestone, but all of the small branches are now in place for the entire upper layer. I just need to figure out where where the leaves are going again but i do like the idea from over here i've been working on this tree for a week irl and i want to take a break to do literally anything else for an hour or two so i want to build up that small farmhouse i talked about next to the field that we added in and maybe fix up the edge along here too but since we're so close to the bridge it can't be too big or it'll make that look tiny. So it should be a little small mini project. Now I know this is completely off track, but I think it's important to show sometimes taking a break from a big project can actually help come up with new ideas and allow us to be more efficient when working on that massive project moving forwards. A lot of hardcore videos really just show the go, go, go side of Minecraft, but I wanna show the entire process of me playing Minecraft, even including all of the struggles. People always ask me how I can play this game every single day and well it's by picking projects I want to do when I want to do them like this little farmhouse coming together here using my brain in a different way from working on the giant organic to now building up this little farmhouse really allows me to focus in on the detailing and adding in a lot of life in every corner of this build which really brings in an awesome vibe in here and every single minute I spend working on this project is visible in the result where I have to spend two to three hours now on the tree to really notice any difference but here we have the completed little farmhouse that I love so very much. We throw up some walls on the interior here and we have an attic space up above, but I didn't really get into the phase where I wanted to detail all these. We got the fireplace in and then there's a little bedroom back here. Some junk on the outside, including a little 
cart over here and then we have a outdoor working station there and then we actually have a small section down here leading into a dark little basement for storage it's amazing how i was just feeling so drained playing this game and like uh it's a slog to move forwards at all and now i'm like wait i could kind of i'm ready to get back to the tree there's also a brand new market stand right over here of some farmer just setting up a shop to sell flowers and we have these cherry blossom saplings sitting in the big old pots in here that i just think it's a really cool vibe to have it in here as an extra detail along the roadway it was a tiny space and it needed something and i think that works pretty well but now it is time to get back to work on the tree before we move into the next phase i opened up a really old backup of the world to see this place before from day 517 compared to present day 5138 this makes me love what i've built so much not even just the tree everything else around this region has really created my dream minecraft world and it's pretty surreal moving towards finishing the uh eyesore of a tree i spent some time drafting the upper leaf canopy like i did originally so i'm ready to dive back into placing leaves following along with the schematic yet again this time it says i need about 23,000 azalea leaves to finish up the entire tree i currently have about 17,000 or so in my remaining shulker boxes but when i did the lower branches and started skipping placements which i can't even tell that i did that i managed to save a few thousand so i might be able to pull this off now with what i have if i'm lucky and these are the last leaves i have on me currently so we got to finish placing them in four shulker boxes down but i'm actually getting pretty good at the leaf parkour up here i was originally falling through a bunch when i was doing the lower canopy and now i feel like i'm getting a little bit better of my tree toes being able to walk around and not really fall too far Sixteen thousand seven hundred fifty-four leaf blocks remain to go on which means uh we've we've got a lot to do still and another four shulkers ready to go q three hours of leaf placing to finish off the remaining shulker boxes of azalea leaves i had at the base of the tree where i decided to focus on the front half which i am happy to say is now complete the back however is still a little flat so i need more leaves yet again but wait how did i forget that dirt back there let's make sure we remove this now before it lives inside the tree forever I swear i'm getting better at parkour up here <laughs> i'm not just falling off every five seconds yeah see that was eight seconds we have created a lot of very dark spaces down here i'll fix that after i get some more leaves i think three boxes will do and i'll bring an extra two for the flowering just to be safe oh the mob farm's up there oh okay the mob farm's up there that fire did not want to go out i just realized i'm out of azalea bushes over there so i can't grow any more trees hopefully we have some in here nope nope no right let's turn this machine on to get some more honestly i'm surprised this still works i've broken this so many times and i'm surprised it works we're gonna take the little victories today how'd you get here huh so i've been sitting there for about 10 minutes in order to get all of these and uh, a d uh apparently i misremembered <laughs> they are everywhere over here yeah definitely definitely ran out yep definitely completely ran out of them right here we go once again we've got to get a bunch more azalea leaves first round of trees are now cleared out and i have one and a half shulkers full of azalea leaves i think to be safe here i should probably go until this hoe is nearly broken every stump you see here is a tree i gathered leaves from to finish the upper canopy today with two very dead netherite hoes again hopefully this is enough to finish the canopy let's take those and these for one final push to finish the giga tree and there it is finally 158 days of building later the canopy of the tree is finished and i am so so happy to have this step complete but unfortunately we're not done yet as you can see by the dark spots back there i've created a bit of a mob spawner underneath my tree and that's not very good because that's also my base before we get into how to fix this i wanted to share i still have a shulker and a little bit of leaves left over and i've now placed 69,696 azalea leaves i, I 
I I swear I didn't plan that. Right. Anyways, um, moving on to where we need to break even more leaves in here. Woo! As the main reason I don't build floating things in Minecraft is actually due to the lighting, just creating these massive dark spaces underneath. But on the tree here, thankfully, we can actually fix this by drilling these holes going all the way down as the light level will come all the way through for the skylight turning these all into much, much lighter spaces. As mobs can only spawn in light level zero, the more of these holes we drill that you can't even tell that they're up there, uh, the less mobs that we're gonna have. About 20 minutes later, the ground is much, much safer and you can't even tell I did anything. Now, I really do hate torch spam underneath builds. Well, also just in general. So I know that the leaves will stop the mobs from burning up, so I'm not gonna fully spawn proof it and I'll just live with it. However, to counteract that statement a touch, I need some glow like in here. As there were a few bad spaces I could not get any light to because the branches above are way too thick. Oh, spider. Speaking of which, we might need a little glow lichen on the edge of the tree here. It was only on the trunk where they're able to spawn. I turned down my brightness all the way just so we could see a little bit better. And it's pretty crazy down here how much darker it is than what I normally play. I really do love this moody brightness, but I definitely play with it on brighter so that it appears a little bit easier to see on YouTube because I know they darken and compress things like crazy. But you got to check this out. Look at down here with how dark and just kind of spooky it is. And then the tree up above. Oh, I love this view. But maybe we do like a little glow lichen right back here. Never did I think the tree would stretch out halfway over Main Street. <gasps> oh, I'm in love. Now for something people have been asking me to do for ages. We can remove these starter trees that have stood here for well over 4,000 days. Right, now I have a big open space here below the tree. So what do I add in? But with that, I'm extremely happy to say the World Tree Phase 2 is complete. This is very much a project that I did for me. And I am so happy to say that it's completed here. If you've enjoyed it as well, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing if you're new. Both really help me out. And with YouTube being a little bit of a funk right now, I really do appreciate your support. Thank you for everything. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.